My name's Jeff Makarevich, and welcome to Wine and Dine with Jeff, where I'll make a healthy dinner from start to finish and pair it with wines from around the world. Let's fill up that glass. Hi, I'm Jeff Makarevich, and welcome to Wine and Dine with Jeff. Today we're making Papadou Pepper Chicken Bake. It only has six ingredients in it, but packed full of flavor. Everything you see here on the counter is the only things that go in it. It is so easy to make, and you will definitely, definitely, definitely love this. So let's get started. We just want to brown up our chicken, and we are going to add just a little bit of salt and pepper on our chicken. Just do not over salt the chicken because we are putting some Kalamata olives in the actual dish itself. And you know they're very, very salty and briny. So you want to definitely, definitely turn it down. I can see my olive oil starting to smoke and you don't want that. Uh, got some black pepper going on on here right now. Let's get them right into the pan. I know that pan is ready for me. Woo! There we go. Right on in. That's what you want to hear. Okay. Now we're going to let that go. And you want to get that nice and caramelized on one side before we flip it over. So we'll let that go for about four or five minutes. Remember my trick on this chicken now. Now if you go to pull the chicken to turn it and it's tugging back at you, don't pull it to turn it because it's not quite finished caramelizing on that side yet and you'll just rip the chicken. So let that go and uh, we will come back in a few minutes and flip it over. Our chicken is nice and caramelized. So we're just gonna dump in right to the same pot, not even take the chicken out. The onions, right on in. And all the exact measurements are right down below in the description center. And some garlic. I have six cloves of garlic in there. And we're just gonna let them sweat out for a few minutes in here. Get them off the chicken onto the bottom of the pan and let them sweat out a little bit. Just a few minutes, that's all it takes. And talk about our Papadou peppers. A lot of people don't know what they are. They are so good. They are an African pepper. They're very, very sweet. A lot sweeter than our American red pepper. So they're sweet with spice. So they got a nice little kick to them. And it just really brings huge flavor to this dish. And you can get them at, uh, at most stores. They usually come jarred. I find them in the deli section. And if you can't, you can go to papadou.com. I'll put that below in the description center. These are so good. Oh my God. Ooh, and a nice little kick too. And the kamalata olives. Just bring that whole little layer and layers of flavor. Now while that is getting all nice and sweated out here in the bottom of our pan. Talk about this beautiful, beautiful wine that we have today. This is a beautiful Tesoro Grenache up in the Los Olivos area in California, which is the San Santa Inez Valley. It is so beautiful. It has notes of strawberry and blackberry. Mm. and not a lot of tannins and bite, which is perfect because we have the bite already going from these Papadou peppers. So we want a little bit of like berry notes to pull back on that heat and everything. So this will go perfect with it. I really want you to try this wine. I love this Grenache. It is very, very, very good. Well, it looks like we are pretty much nice 
and sweat it out. See how quick this comes together? Now we're just gonna dump in our papadou peppers. And I have, a, I have a tablespoon of the brine juice from the papadou peppers too. Uh, and our com a lot of olives. Look at that. Look at those colors. Isn't that beautiful? Now I have everything in here in a cast iron, a seasoned cast, cast iron Dutch pan. God, I can't speak today. <laughs> and why I love this is uh, it keeps all the moisture in when we're baking in the oven. And so if you don't have a Dutch oven or a seasoned cast iron, you want to find something with a very good sealed lid to it. Now, I, I usually don't measure anything, but I'm measuring for you guys. Our last ingredient, our sixth ingredient, is just our chicken stock. I add chicken stock right to this. I have a cup there. I might want to do a cup and a half. You don't want to go over top of the chicken. There we go, about a cup and a half. So you still want the top of the chicken, as you see here, not submerged. Now we put the lid on and we have the oven at 375 degrees in for about 55 minutes. It smells so good in here and our bake is done. Let's grab it out of the oven. It was in there for about 55 minutes at 375. Ah, yes. Lovely. Ooh, facial. Oh my goodness. It smells so good. Look at that. I can't wait to dig into that. Let's plate that up. I would like to thank all my subscribers. And if you're not yet a subscriber, hit that subscribe button so you know what I'm making next week. Let's dig into this papadou chicken bake. Oh yes. I gotta get a little of everything, a little bit of the pepper, a little bit of the kalamata. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Oh my goodness. That sweetness from the papadou and a little bit of the kick with that brininess from that kalamata. This is a winner. I can't wait for you guys to try this. And so easy. Six ingredients. Thanks for stopping by Wine and Dine, and I can't wait to see you next week.